Imagine a world that feels safe, familiar, and rooted in centuries-old traditions. Now, imagine that world starting to crumble, not from within, but because of forces beyond your control. Things Fall Apart by Chinuya Achebe is a powerful story of cultural collision, exploring how one man's life unravels in the face of change. Let's dive into this classic tale and uncover its unforgettable lessons. We begin with a look at the brilliant mind behind this novel, Chinuya Achebe. Achebe is often hailed as the father of African literature in English, and his works have had a lasting influence on both African and world literature. Born in Nigeria, Achebe wrote Things Fall Apart in 1958 to tell the story of Africa through the eyes of its own people, challenging the often one-sided narratives presented by Western authors. The novel not only introduced readers to the complex culture of the Igbo people, but also highlighted the devastating impacts of colonialism on traditional African societies. Now, let's meet the main character, Okonkwo. He is a respected and successful warrior in the Yumufia clan of Nigeria, known for his strength, bravery, and ambition. Okonkwo is determined to distance himself from his father's reputation. His father, Unoka, was known for his laziness and detridden life, something Okonkwo despises deeply. Okonkwo's life is driven by the fear of weakness and failure. His pride and adherence to traditional values shape every aspect of his life, sometimes leading to harsh and unyielding decisions. Other significant characters include Nvoe, Okonkwo's son, who struggles under his father's strict and often abusive approach, and Ike Mefana, a boy from a neighboring village sent to live with Okonkwo's family as a peace offering. Lastly, there's Azinma, Okonkwo's favorite daughter, whom he sees as having the strength and spirit of a son. The story of Things Fall Apart is set in the late 19th century, in a Nigbo village called Yumufia. Okonkwo has achieved success through hard work, earning his place as a revered warrior and farmer in the clan. However, his life is heavily influenced by a deep fear of failure, which often causes him to act harshly, even towards his own family. This fear stems from his father, Unoka, whose life of idleness left a lasting impression on Okonkwo, who is determined to be his opposite. The plot begins to intensify with the arrival of Ike Mefuna, a boy from a neighboring village, who is given to Yumufia as part of a peace settlement. Okonkwo takes him in, and despite his usual strict demeanor, he grows fond of the boy. Ike Mefuna becomes a brother figure to Nvoe, Okonkwo's son, helping Nvoe grow and find happiness, something rare under his father's rule. However, tragedy strikes when the village elders decide that Ike Mefuna must be sacrificed to appease the gods. Despite being advised not to take part, Okonkwo insists on playing a role in the boy's death to avoid showing weakness. This act haunts him and strains his relationship with Nvoe, who becomes even more distant. As Okonkwo grapples with these personal struggles, larger changes loom over the village. British colonizers begin to infiltrate Yumufia, bringing with them Christian missionaries and new government systems. The missionaries initially seem harmless, but their influence gradually grows, especially as some villagers, including Okonkwo's son Voe, convert to Christianity. This conversion becomes a point of extreme frustration and heartbreak for Okonkwo, who sees it as a betrayal of their traditions. The novel's climax occurs when Okonkwo returns to Yumufia after seven years of exile, a punishment he received for accidentally killing a clansman. Upon his return, he finds that his village has changed drastically. The influence of the British is now deeply rooted. Many villagers have converted, and the clan's unity has begun to erode. Okonkwo's attempts to rally his people and restore their old ways are met with indifference. The final blow comes when Okonkwo kills a British messenger in an impulsive act of defiance, hoping to inspire the clan to fight back. But instead of supporting him, the villagers are silent, leaving Okonkwo feeling utterly defeated and isolated. Realizing that his world has changed beyond repair and that he no longer fits into it, Okonkwo tragically takes his own life, an act that his culture considers shameful. This final act represents the complete breakdown of Okonkwo's world and serves as a symbol of the clash between traditional African values and the encroaching forces of colonialism. In conclusion, Things Fall Apart is more than just the story of one man's fall. It is a commentary on the impact of colonialism and the destruction of indigenous cultures. Through Okonkwo's life, Achebe gives us an intimate look at how colonialism affected African societies at both a personal and community level. 
Okonkwo's tragedy is a reminder of the losses endured by countless cultures during colonial rule, losses of identity, autonomy, and tradition. Today, we can still see echoes of Okonkwo's story in the struggles of communities around the world. Indigenous cultures continue to face challenges in preserving their heritage, languages, and customs in the face of globalization and modernization. The book resonates with these communities, as it raises awareness of the importance of cultural preservation and the dangers of losing one's identity in the name of progress. In the end, things fall apart is a powerful reminder that cultural identity and history should be preserved and respected. It asks us to consider the effects of change and the cost of disregarding traditions. Achebe's novel remains relevant because it speaks to universal human experiences, the struggle to belong, the pain of change, and the resilience of those who fight to hold on to their roots. So, as we close the summary of Things Fall Apart, let's remember its lessons. Chinuya Achebe's work teaches us the importance of understanding and respecting cultural differences, and it reminds us that the world is richer when we preserve its diversity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the summary, please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful book summaries. Until next time, let's continue exploring stories that reveal the complexities of the human experience.